Good evening, everyone. We're back once again with another amazing science tutorial video. I'm Coach Spivey, and in this video, we're going to be looking at homologous versus analogous structures. So let's begin. So what are homologous structures? There are traits inherited by two different organisms from a common ancestor that have the same structures but different functions. So let's take a look. So if you look at this, humans' arms are meant for grasping. A cat's legs are meant for walking. A whale's fins are meant for swimming. And a bat's arms are meant for flying. Notice that these structures are similar, but they have different functions. So let's take a look at vertebrate limbs and common ancestor. If you notice, all of these organisms contain a humerus, which is shown in green. And all of these organisms contain an ulna, which is shown in purple or pink. And all of these organisms contain a radius, which is shown in red. And then last but not least, all of these organisms contain carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges, which is shown in yellow. So they contain all of these structures, but all of these structures have a different function depending upon the organism. So in an evolutionary tree, traits are passed from ancestor to descendant. So here's the common ancestor that all four of these organisms have in common. But if you notice, the organisms branch off based upon the function of these structures. So for example, the whale uses their structure to swim. The human uses its arm structure in order to grasp objects. The lizard uses its foot structure in order to walk. And then the bird uses its structure in order to fly. So each one of these organisms have a common or similar structure, but they all have different functions. So now it's time for your first check for understanding. Which limb is not homologous for diagrams A and B? And explain why. You have two minutes to do so, and you can pause the video beginning now. Now let's take a look at our first check for understanding. Homologous structures are inherited from common ancestors. In diagram A, the octopus arm does not have the same structure as the human and lizard structures. So if we notice right here, the octopus arm is not similar to the structure of the human and the lizard. And then the same can be said for the grasshopper. So this means that both the grasshopper and the octopus do not come from the same ancestor as the other organisms. So let's take a look at a grasshopper. So here's a grasshopper right here. If you notice, the human, the lizard, the whale, and the bird have similar structures. The only one that does not have a similar structure is the grasshopper, which shows that it does not have a common ancestor with the rest of the organisms. The same can be said for the octopus as well. So now it's time for our second check for understanding. And we're going to play a game called homologous or not. And you're going to tell whether the two organism structures are homologous or not. So number one, the wings of a butterfly and the wings of a moth. Are these structures homologous or not? Write yes if they are homologous and write no if they're not homologous. You have 10 seconds to do so, and then we'll move on to the next slide. Number two, the limbs of a hawk and the limbs of a penguin. You have 10, 10 seconds to respond beginning now. Number three, wings of a bat and a hummingbird. You have 10 seconds to respond beginning now. Number four, opposable thumb of the tree shrew and the human. You have 10 seconds to respond beginning now.
And number five, flippers of the whale and legs of the water boatman insect. You have 10 seconds to respond beginning now. Now let's see how you did on your second check for understanding. So number one, are the wings of the butterfly and the wings of a moth homologous? Both of the structures are similar. So yes, these wings are homologous. Number two, the limbs of a hawk and the limbs of a penguin. So are they shaped the same? Yes, they are shaped the same but they do have different functions. Number three, the wings of a bat and a hummingbird. They appear to have similar shapes, but actually they do not. So this would actually be no. The bat uses its wings to actually clasp and grasp prey or to wrap around its prey. The hummingbird only uses its wings in order to fly. Number four, opposable thumb of the tree shrew and the human. And yes, these are homologous structures. Both use their hands to grasp objects. If you notice, the shrew is grasping a katydid or a grasshopper. And then the human can use this to grasp a soda or a number of other items. Number five, flippers of the whale and legs of the water boatman insect. These are actually not homologous structures. And the way you can tell is that they do not have a common ancestor. A whale and a boatman insect would not have a common ancestor. And so their structures are actually not the same, but their functions may be the same. So this lets us know that no, they do not have a common ancestor. So therefore, no, they are not homologous structures. So what are analogous structures? And they are body parts of organisms that share a common function, but not the same structure. Organisms with analogous structures do not have a common ancestor. So for example, if you look at this butterfly right here, and if you look at this hawk, both of their wings have a function to allow them in order to fly. But if you was to take a closer look at the structure of their wings, their structure is very much different. Why is their structure different? Because they do not have a common ancestor. And this is why they have anal analogous structures. They have similar functions, but different structures. So now let's take a closer look at analogous structures. These organisms do not share a recent common ancestor, but they have similar appendages that evolved to help them survive in an aquatic environment. So we take a closer look at the shark, the penguin, and the dolphin. If you notice, their appendages have a different structure. All three of their appendages are different, but if you notice, their appendages are evolved to help them survive in order to swim in an aquatic environment. So similar functions, but different structures of their appendages. So now let's analyze homologous versus analogous structures. And if we look at the homologous structures of lizards, birds, humans, and whales, they all have a humerus in common. They all have an ulna bone in common. They all have a radius in common, and they all have metacarpals and phalanges in common. So they have homologous structures, but the functions of the structures are different. So for example, the function of the lizard structure is for digging. The function of, of the bird structure is for flying. The function of the human structure is for grasping. And the function of the whale structure is for swimming. Since their structures are homologous or similar, that lets us know that they have a common ancestor, but their, stru but their functions are different from organism to organism. And then if we take a look at the analogous structures on the right of the whale, the turtle, the fish, and the penguin, all of the functions of their structures is designed for swimming. But if we notice the structures of each, the whale, the turtle, the fish, and the penguin is different. 
So the structure for the whale, the structure for the turtle, the fish, and the penguin lets us know that they do not have a common ancestor because their structures are different. So they have a common function, but a different structure. So now it's time for your third check for understanding. And you're going to analyze the following diagram and answer the questions. You have two minutes to analyze the diagram and answer the questions. And you can go ahead and pause the video starting now. Now let's see how you did on your third check for understanding. Number one, which structures are homologous? So we take a look, the cat leg and the whale flipper are homologous. So they are similar in structure. And if you notice the praying mantis leg and the water boatman flipper leg are similar in structure as well. So both of these structures are homologous. Number two, which organisms have a common ancestor? Well, if the organisms have homologous structures, that means that they're going to have a common ancestor. So that's going to be the cat and the whale will have a common ancestor and the praying mantis and the water boatman will have a common ancestor. Number three, which structures are analogous? So we take a look. The cat leg and the praying mantis legs are analogous. That means they have a similar function but they have different structures. So if you notice, the cat's leg allows it to walk and the praying mantis leg allows it to walk. So that function allows them to walk, but their structures are going to be different. And then if we take a look at the whale flipper and the water boatman flipper, their structures are different, but their functions are the same, which allows them to swim in water. Number four. Which organisms do not have a common ancestor? So we take a look, the praying mantis and the water boat do not have a common ancestor with the cat and the whale. Remember, the cat and the whale have homologous structures, which means that they're going to have a common ancestor. And the praying mantis and the water boat may have common ancestors as well because they have homologous structures. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this science tutorial video was beneficial and helpful. Remember, always to stay positive, and thanks for watching. And I'm Travis Spivey, signing off with my son, Jordan Spivey. Peace, and y'all have a wonderful, awesome, positive day.